Last week, we got familiar with Libertarian presidential candidate Gary Johnson. He was nominated two weeks ago in a contested convention. That's right. The party whose platform opposes all gun laws held their convention in Orlando. And we were there. All eyes are on us right now. As libertarians, all we have to do is just not screw it up. Be consistent, deliver a steady message, talk about the issues that the American people care about. Why can't you get more people to take the Libertarian Party seriously? You know, it, it's hard to say. I mean, I'm, I'm not really a pundit, and I don't consider myself a pundit. I'm just a candidate. In a year where voters are desperate for a third option, 18 libertarian presidential hopefuls gathered to take on the tyranny of big government. They were educators, pro-lifers, anarchists, veterans, and a millionaire wanted for questioning by authorities in the murder of his neighbor in Belize after he fled the country in a disguise to Guatemala, faked a heart attack, and was deported to the U.S. <laughs> While all uniquely different, they wanted the same thing to take down presumptive nominee, two-term New Mexico governor, Gary Johnson. Hey, hey libertarian pitch uh, is being fiscally conservative and socially liberal. Misconception number one is that we're fiscally conservative and socially liberal. Gary Johnson is part of the cult of the omnipotent state. He's not a libertarian, good God, please. What is he doing here? There's Gary Johnson. Get him! Oh my Get him! God. Ah! 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 They're white whale. The establishment lino fighting for his life against a deep bench of party purists. I like to live in a world where gay married couples can protect their marijuana fields with fully automatic machine guns. Austin Peterson, Gary's chief rival, was a 35-year-old sentient smirk who in the Missouri presidential primary came in a distant second to uncommitted. The forces of darkness are on the march in the United States and only the Libertarian Party can save us. While Gary had actual winning elections experience, the other top candidates wooed the crowd with their best slogans during the final debate. I have been in prison more than I'm sure most of all, well, any 10 of you combined, for drug use. Whether or not global warming is true or not, that the government should stay the hell out of it. Right now in this country, people are afraid to go get help because if they go to the doctor, the doctor will call the damned cops. Their stagecraft was unmatched. And I believe that was a felony. Gary had to step it up. What I would advocate is eliminating income tax, corporate tax, and we would then be able to abolish the IRS, which is about as tyrannical as it gets. Swish, a slam dunk. I would ask you to look at the fair tax as a way to dot the I's and cross the T's on how to accomplish one federal consumption tax. And just like that, he lost them. Whatever moderate support he had was drowned out by the radicals' contempt for nuance. From the Civil Rights Act of 1964... I would have voted for it. ...to their most sacred of libertarian values. Should someone have to have a government-issued license to drive a car? Hell no! What's next? Requiring a license to make toast in your own damn toaster? The license to drive? You know, I'd like to see some competency exhibited by people before they drive. Driver's licenses? Conformist. Good morning, Libertarians! The field was now wide open as the voting for president began. Austin Peterson, three. Governor Johnson, four. Nine for Johnson. Austin Peterson, nine. And I would like to pr propose Dobby from the Harry Potter series. That concludes the voting. If the secretary could please display the results on the screen. It was contested. With no candidate having achieved a majority on the first ballot, we will proceed to a second ballot. Supporters spilled into the hallway to whip up support for the second round of voting. This is what happens when you sell out to Big DMV. It was now a three-way race. I tried to unite the party today with Governor Johnson. He wouldn't even talk to me. 
this is what you guys want. This is why I am challenging him. Yeah. You're, All right. You're so, not qualified listen. to be president. Oh, right. What qualifications so, do you have? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Tell that to this the Marquis de Lafayette, who was 18 years old. Do you, had anyone, had anyone ever won a revolution before? Had the founding fathers ever built a country before? You don't give a damn about this country, and you don't give a damn about the Libertarian Party. You're a bunch of failed Republicans. But as quickly as it flared up. Please display the results of the election. Gary won handily in the second round. In the end, it was the silent majority of boring, besuited moderates who crushed the party's Cirque du Soleil understudy demographic. And for this protesting, naked, dancing man, it was a bitter pill to swallow. I was hoping to make the Libertarian Party Libertarian again, and they're uh, nominating a Republican who smoked pot. That's all he is, not a libertarian. He wants people to have licenses to drive cars. Yes, because he's reasonable, and he actually has a chance to get the Libertarian Party taken seriously. It's over! <laughs> all he has to do now is go out there and be presidential. Adrian, I, I, I finished it! I got Adrian! <laughs> Oh, it's done. It's good to be done. We'll be right back.